Nancy Seaman, 2004. In 2004, 52-year-old Farmington Hills, Michigan teacher Nancy Seaman was planning to divorce her husband, Bob. The couple were married for 31 years and had two sons together, but Nancy allegedly suffered through many incidents of spousal abuse. On the morning of May 10th, an enraged Bob supposedly found out that Nancy was going to move out of the couple's home and chased her into the garage with a kitchen knife. She responded by striking him 15 times with a hatchet before grabbing the knife and stabbing him another 21 times. Remarkably, Nancy actually went to work at school after killing her husband since she couldn't find a substitute teacher to cover for her. One week later, she would be charged with first-degree murder after police found Bob's body wrapped in a tarp in the back of an SUV. Nancy claimed she only killed her abusive husband in self-defense, but the authorities were convinced it was premeditated murder, especially after surveillance footage surfaced of Nancy purchasing the hatchet from Home Depot the day before Bob's death. While the couple's youngest son confirmed Nancy's stories of abuse at the hands of Bob, their oldest son claimed that he never witnessed any abuse. Nancy maintained her claims of self-defense throughout her trial and was ultimately found guilty and given a life sentence. 2010, Nancy successfully appealed her conviction, overturned on the basis of ineffective legal counsel as her attorney had failed to develop a strong case to uh, provide, uh, prove that she was a victim of battered woman syndrome. However, in November of 2012, the federal appeals court overturned that decision to grant Nancy Seaman a retrial, so she remains in prison.